We're going to Royal Adelaide Hospital in Adelaide, South Australia. Royal Adelaide Hospital, the new one, is at the intersection of West Terrace, North Terrace and Port Road and is bounded by the eight lanes of railway track. There are no pedestrian underpasses underneath any of these railway lines. But there used to be a pedestrian underpass at this point, but it's been closed in. This used to be a public park, but it's now used as a utility area for other things at the moment. Vehicles wanting to get into the hospital come from Port Road or from North Terrace or can go straight across this intersection. Vehicles coming across this intersection are able to do a drop and kiss arrangement at the front door of the Royal Adelaide Hospital. Vehicles which wish to park in the car park, the car park extends underneath this area here, can get into this underground car park either from a point here or via George Street. And the, this George Street goes around. At the back, there's an entrance to the underground car parks here. Vehicles coming from the north on Morfitt Street have to go over this Morfitt Street bridge and go down into Light Square and then do a manoeuvre here to get round or this way to get round to George Street. The video is looking at the underground car park open to the public starting the point just here. Port Road and level two of the uh, new Royal Adelaide Hospital. And we're now going to go underneath the uh, plaza that sit the front where people coming from the buses walk across and suggested that this could be used for public transport. Level two. Not all patients are getting chemotherapy and have a doctor sign a certificate that so they'll get free taxi rides to the hospital. Many people have only got the need to come once or twice and public transport would be the answer. So the, the car-centric Adelaide has gone and built a car-centric hospital and is ignoring the fact that many people don't own cars because they want to live in a high-density city. So now on the lower level.
We're on level one. And we're now going round to a lower level. This is the true level one. So we're now coming out onto George Street and we can see that the uh, trains are getting ready for the afternoon rush period. And there's a flagman sitting there making sure that trains don't cause a collision with workmen. So the first hour is $4, $7 for two hours and so on. 